17 Middle Eastern fragrances that are perfect for the fall time. Stay tuned. I've got 17 fragrances here. All are Middle Eastern, so you know they're sub $50. Some of them might be really close to that $50 mark, but none of them surpass it. So the first one we're gonna start with is an honorable mention, just because I know it's very hard to get your hands on this fragrance, if at all, and it's called Sahra. And this is from Arv Al Khayyam. This fragrance smells like a blend of two fragrances. Basically kind of a 1 million vibe with a Prada Loam. Smells really good. Bubble gummy Prada Loam is essentially what Sahra smells like. With the honorable mention out of the way, we can go ahead and get started with the fragrances that are readily available as of today and making this video. The first fragrance we're gonna start with is a fruity floral fragrance. And this is very fruity, floral, but powdery at the same time, perfectly unisex. And it's got a very nice looking bottle from the house of Latafa. This is Edgewood. Edgewood will definitely suit the bill and do fantastic this fall. So if you haven't already tried it out, give it a shot. Performance on this is average, about five to six hours of longevity. Next fragrance on this list has some similarities to Silver Mountain Water. However, this is a little bit more fruity. It does have very good performance, very good sillage, slightly bit metallic with some florals and sweet bubblegummy type of note. And this comes from Rasasi and it's called Intliba. And Intliba just basically means impressions. So like I said, guys, Creed Silver uh, Mountain Water with some emphasis on the fruity notes. That's what Rosasi's Intleba smells like. Next fragrance on this list has been flying under the radar for quite some time. This is a Roja Doves Britannia clone. It's super gorgeous. This is a beautiful fragrance. Got a lot of florals and powdery notes. Perfectly unisex and slightly sweet as well, guys. This is very sexy in my opinion. I wish it lasted a little bit longer nonetheless. I have it, I own it, and I will always own it. This is called Shafaq, and this is from Arv Azafaran. Shafaq is very sexy, very powdery. Oh man, it's so good, guys. A vanilla powder bomb with some fruits. It smells almost like it has something of lychee. Super, super sexy. Arv Azafaran Shafaq. Next fragrance on this list is a twist. This is also from Latafa. This is a twist of two fragrances, one million and Armani Code Perfumo. So the best of both worlds, Hayati Gold Elixir. Hayati Gold Elixir, like I said, guys, it's not quite 100% Armani Code Perfumo clone, but it gets there. Mm, and in the process, it does 1 million at the same time. Super sexy, leather, tonka, 1 million bubblegummy sweetness, perfect for the fall time. This next fragrance, I actually like a lot. And I actually favor this one amongst a lot of these Arabian fragrances. And it's probably because it gets very close to Dior Homme, the original formulation before they decided to uh, remove that lipsticky iris. And this comes from Armoff and it's called Futura La Homme. Excuse the bottle guys, there was a plaque here with a little cubic zirconium that fell off, but it is what it is. You guys are seeing it in all its beauty. It does very similar. Everything is pretty much the same on the notes here, guys. The only difference is that it replaces the cacao note with a coffee note, opens up slight bits of alcohol. After that, it's all lipsticky, iris, buttery. This is so damn good. And then you've got the coffee notes with some cedars and oh, this is sexy, guys. Futura Loam by Armoff. Not the intense. Please don't mistake this for the intense. This is perfect for the fall. This next fragrance was recently gaslighted for good reasons. This is a Dior Sauvage alternative. It's not quite 100%, maybe about 75%. It does accomplish some of that licorice note, not quite as good as the Dior Sauvage Elixir does, but this is also from the house of Latafa and it's called Asad. Asad does a pretty good job. The only thing that I think it shies from is the longevity. This gives me only about six hours with two hours of projection. Nonetheless, it does very well and it also does a good job with getting close. So when you smell this, you will smell Dior Sauvage Elixir. Uh, of course, you know, it's not 100% the same fragrance, but still 100% good. This next fragrance is also another fragrance that I actually enjoy more than a lot of these. And it's because of that same lipsticky buttery iris note that's used in this fragrance along with the Arma Fatura La Homme. And this one is from Ajmal and it's Ajmal Evoke Gold. This fragrance gets close to Prada Loam, the original. So Prada Loam, you know, has that Neroli, the buttery iris. It's a nice signature scent fragrance. This one does open up a little bit more with an alcohol and it doesn't really last that long though guys just like the Armand Fatura Loam that alcohol blast is maybe two minutes if that so I think it's worth it and right after that you get the dominant notes of Neroli 
and the buttery iris. And that's exactly what I get with Prada Loam. So this is fantastic. I actually think this gets 90% close. And even if it doesn't get close as a scent on its own is a really, really good fragrance and it's perfect for the fall time. So Ajmal Evoke Gold. This next fragrance is also a cheesy looking bottle, but it does a good job. And this one is rumored to be a clone of Reed's Green Irish Tweed, and it does a very good job. This one, however, is a little bit more synthetic. It's stronger and it lasts a lot longer than a lot of the other clones or inspired expressions. And this comes from Armoff, and it's called Armoff Tre Nui. So, this does green Irish tweed and it does it very well. However, it's a little bit too synthetic for my nose. It opens up with a lot of alcohol, but nonetheless, it does the same thing that green Irish tweed does. Honestly, if you probably smell these close by, you, you know, to the average nose won't tell a difference, but if you are a seasoned vet, then you will know the difference. However, this is a great alternative, 90% close, and it does really well in the performance. Good for the fall time. Since we're talking about Creed's Green Irish Tweed, I figured I'd bring out the next inspiration of Green Irish Tweed, and this one is from Latafa, and this is called Ragba for Men. Don't get it mistaken with the other clear bottle. This is the black bottle. This actually does Creed's Green Irish Tweed I think a little bit better than Trey Nui does. And the reason I say that is because it actually smells a little bit more natural, less synthetic, no alcohol blast, and it's just, it really captures Green Irish Tweed. Performance is a little bit lacking though. I will say that I get maybe six hours out of this, but still pretty solid for a Latafa fragrance. Six, and honestly, I'm being harsh on it. I have smelled this on clothes at a good 10 hours, but on skin, six hours. Next up is another Latafa fragrance, and this gets compared to YSL's YEDP, and for good reason, because it does a very good job at getting super duper close. This is called Fakhr by Latafa. This is a very good alternative to YSL's YEDP. Super bubblegummy, super fruity, very, very sexy. This is perfect for the early fall, mid fall, and even transitioning into the colder weather. I think this will actually do very well in the early times of the winter. So Fakhr Latafa, for the price, outstanding. This next fragrance is also from Latafa. I'm sure you guys aren't surprised, but this one is Ra'id Silver. Ra'id Silver is a slight bit metallic, slight bit sweet, a slight bit of pineapple. I don't enjoy too many metallic fragrances. This is done in extreme moderation with the metallic notes, so it's relatively soft. I easily get migraines from extra synthetic metallic notes. This, however, trickles on the just okay side of things. So very good for the fall time. This will get you through mid fall and almost getting close to that winter time. Fall approved for sure. Latafa's Ra'id Silver. Next fragrance is also fruity, floral, powdery, mostly powdery and fruity. And the fruit note we're talking about here is coconut. So sunscreen type of vibes with a powdery cloud is essentially what I get. And this one is called Qaid Al Fursan Unlimited by Latafa. Yes, so this does have the black version. This, however, is the opposite of that fragrance. So sweet coconut with some powders. This is unisex. I personally think this leans a little bit more feminine than masculine. However, I think both genders can pull this one off. So Qaid Al Fursan Unlimited by Latafa. This next fragrance has the strength to get into the winter time and honestly, probably even get through the winter time. This is a Rasasi fragrance and it comes from the Sutur line. And this is Ta. This has an extreme similarity to Gucci Guilty, the EDT, the original. That one, my biggest beef was that it didn't last. This, however, lasts and lasts and lasts. This is so strong that you gotta be careful with the trigger. Rosasi Sotur Ta. It's got that mass appealing fruity sweetness. That's the best way to sum it up. And this is perfect for the fall time. This next fragrance comes from the house of Armoff. And this actually gets pretty close to a Parfums de Marly fragrance. And the Parfums de Marly fragrance that we're talking about utilizes that almond note very well. And it's Pegasus from Parfums de Marly. And this is called Armoff's Craze. Armoff's Craze is an almond lover's dream. This is relatively cheap. You have to make sure you like almond notes because that's what dominates here and it smells like that. Almond, a little bit of cumin. This does Parfums de Marly Pegasus. I would say about 75 to 80% close. So Armoff Craze. Next up, we have a fragrance that I actually got a couple of wearings from and it's from Ardal Zafaran. This does Invictus Aqua and Invictus with a twist. 
It's a nice fragrance. It's a nice long lasting fragrance as well. That'll cut through the cooler weather and it's Hayati. This is the better Hayati in my opinion. There is a Hayati from Latafa and the Arda Zafran. This is by far better than the Latafa version. Don't get the Latafa version. This is superior to that and it lasts. This gave me 10 hours and it did really well. Not too synthetic, definitely the quality of the two fragrances and fall approved. This is Hayati. Next fragrance has aspects of blue fragrances, cardamom based fragrances, nighttime fragrances, and somewhat daytime fragrances. This is kind of a concoction of a lot of things all at once. Priced extremely well, however longevity isn't that great. It's probably average to slightly below average, but nonetheless the DNA is fantastic. Four to six hours longevity with this one and it's a Latafa fragrance and it's called Ejazi Intensive Silver. So this will get a lot of comparisons to La Nuit de Lome, a lot of blue fragrances and all that kind of stuff. So in my opinion, this kind of smells like a mashup of Blue de Chanel and some aspects of La Nuit de Lome. Does it do both of those exactly? No, but I get both vibes. Blue de Chanel Parfum with the incense vibe, along with that nice, sexy date night cardamom type of vibe that you get from YSL's La Nuit de Lome. So this is definitely fall approved. Just be wary that you might have to apply a little bit heavier. They're Jazzy Intensive Silver from Latafa. Last one up on this list is relatively new, got extremely hyped up, and I actually really enjoy this fragrance. Unfortunately though, the fragrance that I'm talking about also doesn't do that well with performance. Six hours at the tops, that's what I get with this fragrance. I wish I got a little bit more, but we've got certain notes like Orchid Flower and Plum, and this is the brand new Latafa's Eternal Oud. Latafa's Eternal Oud has a gorgeous looking bottle, comes in a dome-like case. However, guys, don't be fooled. It doesn't last that long. It smells gorgeous for as long as you can smell it. After about two hours, all you're gonna get is some dark woods. That's about it. So in the beginning, it opens up very unique, nice green type of plum vibe, some orchid flowers. You don't get any animalic oud here, but after two hours, it just turns into this almost dry woods and it stays as a dry wood for another four hours. So a total of six, maybe seven hours longevity on this fragrance. Nonetheless, it is unique. It's not necessarily crazy, you know, or anything like that, but still a good fragrance. And if you haven't already smelled it, I do definitely think that this deserves a sample don't buy it while it's up and inflated over $55 just don't do it guys it'll come back down performance on this just doesn't garner over $55 but nonetheless super gorgeous looking presentation I think $55 is just the right price for the presentation and for the scent scent is fantastic performance not so much Whew. we got through it that was a lot of fragrances if you're still watching this far and you enjoy this content, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I absolutely enjoyed making this video and will continue to make many more videos just like this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video half as much as I did making it for you guys. Peace.